Rare disease is a global health challenge. It requires organizations around the world to work together on solutions for patients. We spoke with the University of Oxford to discuss how they have partnered their expertise with that of others with the goal of driving cutting edge breakthroughs to meet the needs of those living with rare diseases. Ten-year-old Felix lives with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's a condition characterized by progressive muscle weakness. So Felix, how are you doing? Great. Right. But because he has a gene mutation which can be treated, he's taking part in an early phase clinical trial. The fact that we've had another opportunity to have hope, that feels good, but you know, it's only good for the family if the drug works. But we were discussing earlier today, weren't we, or was it yesterday, that for science, a fail is a win because then they know what not to do next time. Supporting trials like these is the Institute of Developmental and Regenerative Medicine at the University of Oxford. Its purpose-built laboratories are part of the university's much bigger biomedical research campus in the city one of the largest concentrations of biomedical expertise in the world. And it's through partnerships, both international and national, that the university is committed to using its expertise in research, in genomics and therapeutic development to make a real difference to people living with rare diseases. The Wellcome Centre for Human Genetics, also based here, is an international leader in genetics, genomics and structural biology. We've become a huge base. So when I started in, in this field around 20 years ago, we were literally just able to sequence one gene at a time. We developed panels that allowed us to be able to sequence a few genes at the same time, which sped things up a little bit. But, but now the transformation from there to being able to offer whole genome sequencing to these patients and to find a diagnosis in a good proportion of them is, is fantastic. Finding a genetic diagnosis for everyone though and identifying novel, innovative treatments for potentially thousands of rare diseases continues to be the goal. And working with the Oxford Harrington Rare Disease Centre, it's hoped 20 new medicines can be developed for clinical trials over the next 10 years. You might think, well, that would be an immense achievement, but it's still a, a drop in the ocean if there are 10,000 of these diseases. So what we also hope is that we'll do more than 20 and that each one of these may have the possibility of being applied to more than one disease. And therefore in that way, our 20 could be amplified to benefit patients with potentially 100 of these diseases. And in the process, we'll learn how to do this quickly and cost effectively and make these drugs available across the globe to the patients who need them. And the Oxford Biomedical Research Centre's genomic medicine theme aims to bridge the gap between genomics researchers and clinicians diagnosing and treating patients. The beauty in Oxford is good collaboration and dialogue between the physicians, um, who will be the final users, uh, the, the clinical trialists, the preclinical developer in, in the, and the academic um, working at the, at the bench sites. And, this happens in Oxford. This is something we can do in Oxford. This is something that, for which we now have all the pieces of the puzzle to make a successful story. A cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy may still be an aspiration at this stage. But for Felix and his mum, any breakthrough which could delay the progression of his disease would be welcomed. I do feel like a centre like this really is shifting the needle in terms of what could be possible in the future, not only for a condition like Duchenne, but um, having such a, an amazing centre of research with such great resource and you know really wonderful staff. It is not a drag for us to come and take part in something that could make a difference.